this is the new 2013 Passat at sea with sunroof. First thing you need to notice on this car is that the sticker is different. Uh, no longer do we have the big numbers between the city and highway. Now the big number is going to be your, your combined uh, miles per gallon. So when you're shopping for one of these, be careful to look for these numbers and not uh, the big combined. Well, if you're shopping for combined fuel economy, well, there it is. But now um, the city and highway are going to be in smaller numbers on the side. There's also some added information on the window sticker as well as a QR code as well that you can use with your smartphone. One of the biggest things you notice right here is that the uh, climate control uh, setup is a little bit different. Now, on this one, you have a manual solution. I am in a uh, SC with sunroof model. Um, and now the dual zone climate control has moved up to the SEL model um, to keep that model a little bit more premium. Uh, but this, I believe, is, is a very elegant solution. Uh, very easy to use. I like the, the, the red marks right here. Uh, and I think this is going to be a lot easier uh, to use and easier for people who are new to the Volkswagen brand to get accustomed to. Um, and I love that they kept this dial that allows you to kind of set it in the middle of two to get both. Uh, so, for example, if you want, let's say, you know, um, like your face and feet that you can now you can kind of customize it a little bit more uh, than you could before and you have a lot more range when it comes to the fan speed as well uh, Volkswagen has also added um, to all the cars this new max AC button uh, and basically you put this all the way to max and then when you turn the fan on it will turn both your AC and recirculation on uh, they're adding that, they added that to most of the 2012s, um, but all the 13s will have that for sure, um, which uh, I really like. And again, it kind of addresses some complaints uh, from newcomers uh, to the Volkswagen brand as, you know, that will help the car, either, uh, keep the car a lot cooler, a lot faster. Um, the RCD uh, 510 was updated last year uh, in 2012, um, and it does feature a fun button now. But now the way that the uh, parent, of course, happens is a little bit different. Now the car will actually request the phone to pair with the car. Now you don't have to. Uh, normally it's the other way around where you actually have to tell the phone to look for the car. Now the car will look for the phone and the phone will prompt you uh, to go ahead and accept the pairing. Uh, the first, And that will only happen the first time you do it. Once you do it, then... It will be completely automatic from there on. Another thing that Volkswagen has redesigned as well is the cup holders. Uh, no longer do you have that that cover that goes in here. Um, I know I broke one once. Uh, I'm not a huge. I wasn't a huge fan of that cover. Uh, but now you have the open cup holders, just like on the Jetta and the rest. Actually, the rest of our lineup. The Passat was the only one that had that uh, that cover on it. Uh, and again, it wasn't a, I wasn't a huge fan of it, so I'm glad it's it's gone. Um, and here you have that covered um, storage area with a 12 volt outlet, and it's it's quite deep in there. Where you can now you can be able to put th put things in there and close it up and keep it secure. Um, and overall, I think it actually looks a little bit better in the interior. Um, here's the armrest. The armrest has actually been redesigned as well with a little bit more room. There's your uh, auxiliary 12 outlet as well and the little tray that goes in here. Uh, and under here, a lot of people miss this. There's a little uh, area where you can uh, put like paperwork in here. Uh, there's a clip for paperwork or like if you have like a, a pass or something like that that you can keep in there. Um, so that's good for that. Now, let me go to the back and show you a new exciting change. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen, rear vents. I know a lot of you guys asked for these and complained that the 2012 Passat didn't have them, but now they're standard on SE models and above. Um, so you have just two there, and then on the need you see there's two more uh, to keep the rear passengers uh, more comfortable. Uh, they are adjustable for both uh, direction and uh, speed. 
So there you go. They're finally in the Passat for 2013. Now coming to the rear, another uh, uh, step that Volkswagen took to address criticism on the Passat. We have redesigned these covers uh, for the hinges. But not only that, we've actually put it on both sides. So now both sides are covered. Uh, and again, it gives it a more upscale look to the vehicle. Uh, and I think it's a much welcome addition. So there you have it, folks. That is the 2013 Volkswagen Passat. As I get more 2013 models with different equipment, I will make update videos on those. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.